I go to the movies again and again and again and again. And this movie, it is a movie that is the sequel movie. And I saw it at the Ragtag. And it is a movie that I did not see any trailers for. And I did not know this movie even existed. And I did not even know the first movie of this even existed. <laughs> but this movie, it is the scary movie. And I guess, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty scary. It's more gory. Very gory. Very sadistic. Very bloody. I'd say the movie is more creepy than scary. But the name of the movie, it was called... This Clown is Terrifying Number 2. The movie. And, uh... Yeah, so... <laughs> this, uh... This movie is about a killer clown. <laughs> who apparently is named Art. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. So I didn't see the first one at all. But apparently, this clown goes on a killing spree in that movie. <laughs> and in this movie... It's, uh, I guess the next year or something. And the clown guy's been laying low. And, uh, there's a new batch of people that need murdering. <laughs> so, I know nothing about this. But I will say that I think that this uh, clown character, I think it's a good horror movie character. I think this, this is very effective and very, very creepy. And it's kind of funny. He's, he's very funny. Whoever this guy is, I don't know if he's like a professional clown in real life or not. But this, this guy is really good at this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Now, now, the movie, it has its issues. <laughs> so, but it did have a, a good feel of being like a... Like an 80, a good 80s horror movie. It did feel that way. But there's some things about it where... You can tell it was a sort of... Amateurish. <laughs> you know, maybe with uh, some of the cinematography and stuff like that. The makeup effects were great. I thought, you know, practical makeup effects from back in the day. You know, looking like, you know, the kind of stuff you'd see back in the, in the day. So that was really good. But uh, the characters and some of the acting. And uh, it's not great. But then again, a lot of those classic 80s, you know, there's some Nightmare on Elm Street's. This is I kind of this kind of gets a Nightmare on Elm Street sort of feel to me. I think uh, one thing this movie needed was like a creepy theme. Like those those classic horror movies, they all had a theme, and I couldn't pick up a theme. You know, it's like there'd just be you know some some heavy music and loud sounds and stuff. I mean, there there was a song. It went on for too long in this. It was like banjo music. So yeah, I guess you could say. I, mean, I don't know if that's in the first movie. It could be this guy's like theme song. But there's no musical theme. You know, it's like... Obviously the the piano sounds and Halloween. Or the like... They're kind of like chimey sounding things. in Nightmare on Elm Street. You know that... You know, the, the, that sort of thing. And, of course, it had the nursery rhyme. And, uh... With the Friday the 13th, you know, the... You know, that sort of thing. It's like, it really sets the mood in that. And this movie doesn't really have any... Anything like that. Where there's a mood. But, uh... There are... I mean, the clown guy steals the show. Obviously. He's amazing in this. And the main character girl, she isn't too bad, you know? She has, like, a younger brother character. And he's, you know, weird looking and awkward sort of thing. But... And they have a... 
<laughs> they have like a, a stock mom sort of <laughs> character. Yeah. But, uh, uh, and I haven't mentioned that, like, the clown, the clown guy is creepy. But his, like, little girl sidekick is even creepier. <laughs> Just her face, the way she holds her head sort of thing. It's, uh, <laughs> there's something about the way this is shot. You know, it's like, I don't know if it needed some filters, you know, to make it seem darker. But it's like, I like that things were well lit and you could see it see everything but it also stuff looks sterile i guess and there's this thing like it goes on really long where it's you know it's a dream sequence the whole time it's happening but it's just too it's like there's no editing done to it they're like we filmed it and we're gonna show it <laughs> sort of thing where i think it would have been creepier if it was more dreamlike sort of thing and that went on for a real long time. <laughs> so I guess basically my my issues are what this movie is like. This is this is great great uh you know uh character, killer character, you know, real creepy, great makeup stuff. You know, really good, like, visual ideas, but it's like, it needed to be cut back and a little bit more stylized with the cinematography sort of thing, you know? But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, but this character is a great character, and I almost wish... You know, I could see uh, this character show up in, like, a different movie made by different people. Because <laughs> he's great, you know. But, but this movie is brutal. It's brutal. It's sadistic and brutal. And, you know, there were some things uh, where I started feeling a little queasy. I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> But, uh, there's other times this movie had me, like, laughing. Like, because this clown guy is hilarious sometimes. But, yeah, well, anyway. That's all I really got to say about it, so. All that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter. And your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it. But we can't seem to stop ourselves, so... Those are my first thoughts and opinions. I have thrown them up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. But for what it's worth, Terrifier 2. Hmm. I'm conflicted about it. <laughs> Some stuff's great, but I wish it could have been done better, I guess. Is what it is. So, uh, yeah. Those are my thoughts on it.